The cool thing is other languages have access to this too. This is just a system call, just like opening a file, reading a file, closing a file. They're all system calls too. We can access this in other languages. So here, I'll show you a quick little example. We could pull up, let's say Python 3, and then you can import OS. And now we have OS, what is it, stat, I think? So OS stat, and then it gives, you give it the name of the file. So let's do file.txt. And look at this, we get this stat result object back and all that same information is there. Again, formatted slightly differently, but if we were to look at ST underbar ino, we get the inode number here, which should line up with the inode number here. Actually, you know what? I think in my terminal, I can just search for that. There we go. You can see that inode number shows up everywhere. So you get the same information, but if you were in Python, you would have access to these simply like this. You wouldn't have to fork out to these external tools. You have it built into your language. Um, I think Node also has this, if I remember correctly. You have FS. Yes, yeah, so I think you can do fs.stat, and of course it's asynchronous by default, so let's do stat sync, and then we can do file.txt. And this gives us the same thing. We get this stats like named object. I don't know JavaScript that well, but it's the same information. So we would have the inode number the same as we had it in Python. So pretty neat, pretty cool.